Learning Objectives After studying this module, students will be able to Explain how to prepare accounting vouchers Apply accounting equation to explain the effect of transactions Record transactions using rules of debit and credit Record transactions in journal and other subsidiary books. Business transactions and source document. Business transaction meaning an accounting or business transaction is a business event having a monetary impact on the financial statements of a business. It is recorded in the accounting records of the business. Business transaction has twofold effects that are recorded in at least two accounts. Source document vouchers. Every business transaction, if usually evidenced by an appropriate document, such as cash memo, invoice, sales bill, pay in slip, check, salary slip, etc. A source document or a voucher is the original document that contains the details of a business transaction. A source document includes the key information about a transaction such as the names of the parties involved, amounts paid if any, the date and the substance of the transaction. Preparation of Accounting Vouchers The accounting vouchers are classified as Cash vouchers, debit vouchers, credit vouchers, journal vouchers, etc. Transaction and complex vouchers. Transaction voucher serves as an evidence for a transaction with one debit and one credit, whereas in complex or journal vouchers transactions with multiple debits and multiple credits are recorded. Essential elements of an accounting voucher must be written on a good quality paper, name of the firm must be printed on the top, date of transaction must be only be filled up against the date and not the date of recording of transaction. The number of the voucher is to be in a serial order. Name of the account to be debited or credited is mentioned. Debit and credit amount is to be written in figures against the amount. Description of the transaction is to be given account-wise. The person who prepares the voucher must mention his name along with signature and the name and signature of the authorized person are mentioned on the voucher. Preparation of Accounting Vouchers Classification of Accounting Vouchers Accounting vouchers may be classified as cash vouchers, debit vouchers, credit vouchers, journal vouchers, etc. Accounting voucher format. There is no set format on an accounting voucher. Vouchers must be preserved for the purpose of audit of accounts and tax assessments. Presently, vouchers are computerized. These include the code number and the name of accounts to be debited and credited. Transaction voucher. The accounting voucher prepared for a simple transaction is known as transaction voucher. Simple transaction is the one that involves one debit and one credit. Complex all journal voucher. Transactions with multiple debits and multiple credits are called complex transactions and the accounting voucher prepared for such transaction is known as complex voucher. This voucher is also known as journal voucher. Compound voucher. It is a voucher that records a transaction that entails multiple debits or credits and one credit or debit. Types of compound voucher. Debit voucher, credit voucher, design of accounting voucher. The accounting voucher designs depends upon the nature, requirement and convenience of the business. There is no set format of an accounting voucher. However, to distinguish various vouchers, different color papers and different fonts of printing are used. Essentials of an accounting voucher An accounting voucher must contain the following essential elements. These essential elements are, it must be written on good quality paper, 
name of the firm must be printed on the top, the number of the voucher is to be in a serial order, date of transaction must be filled up against the date and not the date of recording of transaction is to be mentioned. Name of the account to be debited or credited is mentioned. Description of the transaction is to be given account-wise. Debit and credit amount is to be written in figures against the amount. The person who prepares the voucher must mention his name along with signature. The name and signature of the authorized person are mentioned on the voucher. Accounting Equation Definition Accounting equation describes that the total value of assets of a business is always equal to its liabilities plus owner's equity. This equation is the foundation of modern double entry system of accounting. Accounting equation is simply an expression of the relationship among assets, liabilities and owner's equity in a business. Equation of accounting The accounting equation displays that all assets are either financed by borrowing money or paying with the money of the company's shareholders. Thus, the general form of accounting equation is given below. A is equal to L plus C, that is, assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Analyzing the equation, A is equal to L plus C. The left-hand side, also known as asset side of the equation, shows the resources owned by the business and the right-hand side, also known as equity side, shows the sources of funds used to acquire two resources. The accounting equation A is equal to L plus C can also be presented in the following forms as its derivatives to enable the determination of missing figures of capital C or liabilities L. That is, 1. A minus L is equal to C. 2. A minus C is equal to L. Example, if assets of a firm are 5 lakh rupees, liabilities are rupees 2 lakh, then we calculate the owner's equity using this equation as owner's equity is equal to assets minus liabilities is equal to rupees 5 lakh minus rupees 2 lakh is equal to rupees 3 lakh. Balance sheet equation. The accounting equation depicts the fundamental relationship among the components of the balance sheet that is assets, liabilities and capital. Hence, it is also called the balance sheet equation. Each element of the equation is the part of balance sheet which states the financial position of the business on a particular date. Rules of Debit and Credit Introduction Debit and Credit In financial accounting or bookkeeping, debit indicates the left side of a ledger account and credit indicates the right. Debits and credits are the opposing side of an accounting journal entry. They are used to change the ending balances in the general ledger accounts. Classification of Accounts All accounts are divided into five categories of the purposes of recording the transactions. These are asset, liability, capital, expenses or losses and revenues or gains. Fundamental Rules of Debit and Credit The two fundamental rules that are followed to record the changes in these accounts are Rule 1. For recording changes in assets or expenses or losses 1. Increase in asset is debited and decrease in asset is credited 2. Increase in expenses or losses is debited and decrease in expenses or losses is credited Rule 2. For recording changes in liabilities and capital or revenues gains 1. Increase in liabilities is credited and decrease in liabilities is debited. 2. Increase in capital is credited and decrease in capital is debited. 3. 
increase in revenue or gain is credited and decrease in revenue or gain is debited. Explaining the rules. 1. Asset accounts, normal balance, debit, rule, an increase in recorded on the debit side and a decrease in recorded on the credit side of all asset accounts. 2. Expense accounts, normal balance, debit, rule, an increase in recorded on the debit side and a decrease in recorded on the credit side of all expense accounts. 3. Liability accounts, normal balance, credit, rule, an increase is recorded on the credit side and a decrease is recorded on the debit side of all liability accounts. 4. Revenue or income accounts, normal balance, credit, rule, an increase is recorded on the credit side and a decrease is recorded on the debit side of all revenue accounts. 5. Capital or equity accounts, normal balance, credit, rule, an increase is recorded on the credit side and a decrease is recorded on the debit side of all equity accounts. Using debit credit, debit and credit meaning business transactions are events that have a monetary impact on the financial statements of an organization. When accounting for these transactions, we record numbers in two accounts where the debit column is on the left side and the credit column is on the right side. Debit Entry A debit is an accounting entry that either increases an asset or expense account or decreases a liability or equity account. It is positioned to the left in an accounting entry. Credit Entry a credit is an accounting entry that either increases a liability or equity account or decreases an asset or expense account. It is positioned to the right in an accounting entry. T-shape accounts. To keep a company's financial data organized, accountants developed a system that sorts transactions into records called accounts. An account is a record in the general ledger that is used to collect and store debit and credit amounts. All business transactions are tracked as debit and credits, abbreviation as DR and CR respectively. In your account ledger, using a T account where debits are recorded on the left hand side of the T and credits on the right hand side. Debit equals credit. When recording each transaction, the total amount debited must be equal to the total amount credited. In accounting, the totals of the debits and credits for any transaction must always equal to each other, so that an accounting transaction is always said to be in balance. If a transaction were not in balance, then it would not be possible to create financial statements. Books of Original Entry Books of Original Entry Meaning Books of Original Entry refers to the accounting journals in which business transactions are initially recorded. In other words, these are the books in which we first record the financial transactions. The entries are recorded in these original books of entry According to the nature of transactions, and entries in these are made on a daily basis. Journal or Original Books of Entry In real world, the transactions are not recorded directly in the accounts. The book in which transaction is recorded for the first time is known as Journal or Book of Original Entry. A journal is a detailed account that records all the financial transactions of a business so that they can then be used for future reconciling. Journalizing Journalizing is an act of recording the debit and credit aspects of a business transaction in journal together with an explanation of the transaction known as narration. Posting Posting means the step in the accounting cycle where balances from journal accounts are transferred to ledger accounts. Classification of journal 
The journal is subdivided into number of books of original entry. These are A. Journal proper B. Cash book C. Other day books 1. Purchases journal book 2. Sales journal book 3. Purchase returns journal book 4. Sales returns journal book 5. Bill receivables journal book 6. Bills payable journal book Journal Definition In accounting and bookkeeping, a journal is a record of financial transactions in order by date. A journal is often defined as the book of original entry. In other words, a journal is a record that keeps accounting transactions in a chronological order, that is, as they occur. Journal The first step of accounting The first stage of accounting process is journal and journalizing. Journal is the primary book of keeping accounts. The book wherein the transactions are recorded in a chronological order of dates after determining the debit account and credit account of transactions with explanation is called journal. Hence, the process of recording transactions in journal is called journalizing. Journal Entry An accounting journal entry is the method used to enter an accounting transaction into the accounting records of a business. It should include the date of the entry, the accounting period in which the journal entry should be recorded, the accounts into which the debits and credits are to be recorded, the name of the person recording the entry. The journal entry format. The first column in journal is date. It includes the date of transaction. The second column is particulars column. In this column, the account title to be debited is written on the first line beginning from the left-hand corner and the word DR or doctor is written at the right end of the column. The account title to be credited is written on the second line leaving sufficient margin on the left side with a prefix too. The third column is ledger folio or LF. It keeps the records of ledger folios. Fourth column is debit amount column, which records the amount debited. The last column is credit amount. It keeps a record of amount credited. The ledger. Meaning, a general ledger is a company's set of numbered accounts of its accounting records. The ledger provides a complete record of financial transactions over the life of the company. Ledger The Principal Book of Accounting A ledger is the principal book of double entry system of accounting which is used for recording and totaling economic transactions. The ledger is a master record of all the accounts of a business unit. It is a principal book of double entry system of accounting which provides all important information. Separate accounts are maintained on the basis of their nature. So all the information related to the transactions may be obtained through ledgers such as to whom what is payable, from whom what is receivable, what are the position of asset and liabilities of the business. Contents of a ledger A ledger is used to sort and store balance sheet and income statements, transactions. It contains different accounts where transactions relating to that account are recorded. The ledger holds account information that is needed to prepare financial statements and includes accounts for assets, liabilities, owners, equity, revenues and expenses. Different forms of a ledger. A ledger may be in the form of a bound register or cards or separate sheets which may be maintained in a loose leaf binder. In the ledger, each account is opened preferably on separate page or separate card. 
ledger and its usage. Ledger helps in preparing the trial balance and assists in preparing trading, profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Distinction between journal and ledger. Definition. Journal is a record of financial transactions in order by date. The book in which accounts are maintained is called ledger. Journal and ledger are the two pillars which create the base for preparing final accounts. Analyzing the difference between the two. 1. Journal is a book of accounting where daily records of business transactions are first recorded in a chronological order that is in the order of dates. A ledger is an accounting book in which all similar transactions related to a particular person or thing are maintained in a summarized form. 2. Journal is the primary book of accounting or book of original entry. However, a journal is the principal book of accounting or book of final entry. 3. Journal is prepared out of transaction proofs such as vouchers, receipts, bills, etc. Ledger is prepared with the help of a journal itself. Therefore, it is the immediate step after recording a journal. 4. The transaction in journal are recorded in a chronological order, whereas in a ledger, these are recorded according to the type of transaction. 5. Transactions are recorded in journal without considering their nature of classification. And in a ledger, transactions are recorded in classified form under respective heads of accounts. 6. Procedure of recording in a journal is known as journalizing, which performed in the form of a journal entry. And procedure of recording in a ledger is known as posting. 7. It may be subdivided into a cash book, a sales day book, sales return day book, purchases day book, purchases return book, etc. However, it may be subdivided into general ledger, debtors or sales ledger, creditors or purchases ledge. Posting from journal. Posting. Introduction. After journal entries are made, the next step in the accounting cycle is to post the journal entries into the ledger. It is the process of transferring entries in the journal into the accounts in the ledger. Posting to the ledger is the classifying phase of accounting. Journal and Ledger In accounting and bookkeeping, a journal is a record of financial transactions in order by date. An accounting ledger refers to a book that consists of all accounts used by the company, the debits and credits under each account and the resulting balances. While the journal is referred to as books of original entry, the ledger is known as Books of Final Entry Journalizing and Posting Journalizing is an act of recording the debit and credit aspects of a business transaction in journal together with an explanation of the transaction known as narration whereas posting from journal means transferring amounts from journal to the respective accounts in the ledger. The basic aim of posting is to summarize all the transactions of the journal in a classified account so that necessary conclusions can be drawn. Posting from journal Posting from the journal is done periodically, maybe weekly or fortnightly or monthly as per the requirements and convenience of the business. Process of posting the complete process of posting includes Step 1. Locate in the ledger the account to be debited as entered in the journal. Step 2. Enter the date of transaction 
in the date column of the debit side. Step 3. In the particulars column, write the name of the account through which it has been debited in the journal. Step 4. Enter the page number of the journal in the folio column and in the journal write the page number of the ledger on which a particular account appears. Step 5. Enter the relevant amount in the amount column on the debit side. Classifications of ledger accounts Ledger meaning a book containing all accounts of a business enterprise is known as ledger and transferring transactions from the books of original entries to their respective ledger accounts is known as posting. Ledger serves as the main book for an effective and result-oriented accounting system. For recording various transactions of a business enterprise, a ledger contains different accounts showing the impact of the business transactions occurred during an accounting period. It is a collection of all accounts debited or credited in the book of original entry, viz. subsidiary books and proper journal. Ledger and its classification There are different types of accounts. Each of them is prepared differently. They are found in main nominal ledger and supports different features. The five types of accounts are 1. Assets These accounts show you debit balance and they are created due to assets which can retain their value. 2. Liabilities These accounts would reflect debt of business and would come with credit balance. 3. Capitals these are the accounts which would represent investment in the business. 4. Incomes These completely reflect sales and other income which would increase profit. They show credit balance and credited to profit and loss account. 5. Expenses These accounts deal with expenditure that can reduce profit. They will show debit balance and debited to profit and loss account. Permanent and temporary ledger accounts. The ledger accounts can also be classified as permanent ledger accounts. It has opening balance apart from startup business. These are the accounts which would show closing balances that happens at end of financial year and finally carried forward to next year. Temporary ledger accounts. These does not come up with any opening and closing balance. The accounts get closed at the end of financial year by transferring it to profit and loss accounts. Utility of ledger. Ledger meaning. A ledger is defined as a company's set of numbered accounts for its accounting records. A general ledger is the collection of all the accounts debited or credited in the journal proper and various special journal. It provides a complete record of financial transactions over the life of the company. Principal Book of Accounting Ledger A ledger is the principal book of double entry system of accounting which is used for recording and totaling economic transactions. The ledger is a master record of all the accounts of a business unit. It is a principal book of double entry system of accounting which provides all important information. Separate accounts are maintained on the basis of their nature. So all information relating to transactions may be obtained through ledgers, such as to whom, what is payable, from whom, what is receivable, what are the position of asset and liabilities of the business. Utility of ledger. A ledger is very useful and is very important for an organization. 
Ledger helps in preparing the trial balance and assists in preparing trading, profit and loss account and the balance sheet. The net results of all transactions in respect of a particular account on given date can be ascertained only from the ledger. The following are the important utilities of ledger accounts. 1. Ledger account keeps a permanent record of all financial transactions in a classified manner. 2. It shows detailed financial information of a business regarding debtors and creditors, assets and incomes and expenses. 3. Ledger account helps to prepare a trial balance in order to check the arithmetical accuracy of the recording of the financial transactions of the business. 4. It helps to prepare profit and loss account so as to ascertain the profit or loss of the business. 5. It helps to prepare the balance sheet with a view to show the financial position. Summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Journal is a record that keeps accounting transactions in a chronological order. The book in which accounts are maintained is called Ledger. The Ledger provides a complete record of financial transactions over the life of the company. A Ledger is used to sort and store balance sheet and income statement transactions. Accounting equation describes the total value of assets of a business is always equal to its liabilities plus owner's equity. The general form of accounting equation is A is equal to L plus C that is assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Books of original entry refers to the accounting journals in which business transactions are initially recorded. Journalizing is an act of recording the debit and credit aspects of a business transaction in a journal. An accounting or business transaction is a business event having a monetary impact on the financial statements of a business. Accounting vouchers can be classified as cash vouchers, debit vouchers, credit vouchers, journal vouchers, etc. In bookkeeping, DR or debit indicates the left side and CR or credit indicates the right side of a ledger. Debits increase assets, withdrawals and expenses while credits decrease them. Credits increase liabilities, capital and revenues, while debits decrease them.